I'm standing here at the protest site in Balkan and I just wanted to say that for every person that one sees at this site, there's a wonderful atmosphere at this site, but for every person you see at this site there are a hundred, a thousand people who for whatever reason can't be here, who feel the same way, who feel passionate about the earth, who want to protect the earth, who know that this fracking business is madness. I think this is a time of wonderful opportunity on this planet and uh, I'm really just so glad that there's so many people that are coming forward to help. So today I could have gone to work, I could have stayed at home, did what I needed to do for my own personal life, but I felt there's a time when one has to put the personal aside and come to serve the bigger picture, and the bigger picture is about our land. Uh, it's a great privilege to be here. Um, I'm here because I feel deeply uh, that the manner in which certain sections of our society are proposing to continue to treat uh, this beautiful planet that we share with all other life forms is representing a way in which we behaved in the past. We are not that type of human being anymore. What's happening to all of us is that we are facing a great time of change where we have been human beings that just took what we wanted when we wanted and did not consider the consequences. We need to start to understand that we cannot use the old mentalities, the old human identities anymore. They simply will not work. We need a new planetary ethic in the manner in which all human beings relate to what is the natural world. There's enough information out there to me to suggest there's a lot of question marks about fracking. There's a lot of places around the world, Pennsylvania, Poland, whatever, where fracking has clearly had a detrimental effect. It's not clear cut whether this is going to be the answer or not. And so therefore, until we have much more conclusive evidence that it is a possible solution, which I don't think it will be, we mustn't proceed into really harming and destroying this earth. The whole argument around fracking uh, is not being represented fairly in either the local or the national press. The establishment have come in lent on certain people and so that tends to be the version that we are getting. A lady called Mrs Thatcher misjudged the mood of the English people and the British people and she pushed for poll tax and that was the thing that caused her downfall, the final last straw. I believe that this is going to be the last straw for Cameron, that he has so misjudged the mood of people in Britain. He misjudged it massively, his government misjudged it when they proposed selling off public woodlands and there was such an outcry about that from so-called Middle England as well as the extremes that they immediately withdrew their plan so we managed to save public woodland. The same thing I believe is going to happen with this that he and his government misunderstand the fundamental nature of the British people, that they love their land and they love their countryside, and that when the chips are down and it's a choice between money or the preservation of the natural world, surprise, surprise, they'll actually choose the preservation of the natural world. This is an action which is primarily about morality. Is it moral to treat the planet knowing what we now know about the effects of that treatment, uh, is it moral to continue, as we have done in the past, to treat the planet in the same way? Is it moral? Yes or no? This planet. We've either all got to wake up to this and understand that we have to treat this planet with dignity, with respect and with love and grace. And that could the human future that could unfold from that would be very different to the present that we now have. Or we can continue to treat the planet in a manner that eradicates and despoils. It is our choice. What type of human being are you? What type of human being do you want to be? And what type of planet do you want to leave for your children and our brothers and sisters in the natural world?